Oh, let's talk about the newest addition to my camera list, the Sony ZV-1. This has replaced the A7R2, which is off to a new owner. And this camera is going to take up duties as a vlogging camera and a webcam. So let's dive into it. So first off, let's get into the uh, technical aspect of the camera. The Sony ZV-1 is a point and shoot camera. It's got a flip out screen, not unlike most Sony cameras. This is a very recent thing. Uh, it's also got a fixed lens, a fixed 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Uh, and it goes from f1.8 to 2.8, which means that at 24 millimeters, it is at f1.8. And at uh, 70 millimeters, it is at f2.8 minimum. So you can still go higher, but that is, those are the minimum apertures for those two focal distances. Now, personally, I think that 24 millimeters is a little bit tight for vlogging, especially this, uh, for what this is for. I'm gonna use this primarily to, uh, you know, to, to, to vlog. As you can see from this right now, this is me holding the camera outstretched all the way, and it's still kind of tight, but it still works. I still think that it kind of works none, nonetheless. I reckon I can make it work. And also it works as a new nifty webcam. Uh, the other thing is that the camera actually has an onboard microphone. It's up here. Now, normally I wouldn't trust cameras with onboard microphones. I don't usually use the onboard microphone. I would have my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on it. That's what's on the uh, EOS R right now. So I would use that most of the time. However, it has got it's got quite an ingenious way of putting like the deck cat on it. I'm gonna do this for a second. So it's got a hot shoe mount at the top where the on the RX100 Mark V that would be where the viewfinder is. The deck cat just sort of goes onto the hot shoe mount like that, and it covers up the um, the microphone. It's like a little windshield so that you don't actually hear the wind effects. The wind effects, the wind sound. You, you get the idea. So I think it's very helpful, very innovative. I'm not, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to be using the regular microphone that I'm going to plug in. And the one thing that you need to know when you, go, when you plug in a microphone is that there is a mic jack in the, uh, in just, uh, just on the side, but there is no headphone jack. So you can see the audio levels on the camera. You just can't hear it. That, that's marked down then. Now the next thing is that the camera does not come with a charger. It comes with a cable, a micro USB cable to charge the, the battery via the camera. So it comes with one battery, one cable, and that's it. Charge it through the camera. That's why the first thing I went to buy was this. This is a dual charger by Energon. Basically all it does is it takes a micro USB or a regular uh, USB 2.5 I think and it goes in and charges two batteries simultaneously. It also comes with two spare batteries, not that I would ever use a, uh, a third party battery, I just don't trust them very much. But that's very helpful to have, have something if you have multiple batteries. L uh, like me, I've got like I think two batteries, so this is to charge it when it's on the go. Very very helpful. Now the third thing is that I've got this thing, this cage, as you can see, the camera obviously screws onto the cage. And this is actually very, very important to have when you when you need to use the camera like I do, which is using it as a webcam. Because if you can see just over here, this is where the tripod mount goes. And you can put the tripod mount down, but you cannot have the tripod mount on it and have a dummy battery at the same time. So opening this up, you see, you need to screw the tripod mount in here and then run a dummy battery through here. With this though, that just means that you can reposition the hot shoe wherever you want and that will allow you to run a dummy battery through it while simultaneously mounting it as well. That would mean that this would be more useful as a webcam which is, you know, what I intend to use it for. So shifting the quarter inch thread to the side 
makes it very helpful. Unless, of course, as a webcam, the power you're feeding it through is via the uh, the multi uh, USB thing. So you can you can actually power it through the USB as well. But I personally prefer to use a dumb battery. Now, as I said before, the camera does have a flip out screen that helps you, you know, vlog just like that. And the one thing that I got with it was this. This is a multi interface tool. It's 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 a it's a it's a grip. It's a grip and a tripod. So what you do is you screw it onto the onto the uh, onto the camera, and then you plug the wire. There's actually a wireless version that runs on Bluetooth. You plug the wire into the camera. Wait, does that extend the cable a little? Plug the wire into the camera, and with that, you'll be able to control different aspects of the camera. So right now, this is plugged in, right? You can see. And so I can control the zoom in and out, and I can hit record, and I can hit photo. Also, this thing doubles as a sort of time tripod, so that's helpful, right? I like it. I like this thing. It also, it makes it makes vlogging kind of less awkward because it looks like you actually have something that you're vlogging with rather than just holding camera like through the on its base. Very clever and uh, very helpful. I think that if you have if you get the one of the RX 100s or the ZV1, I think that is probably one of the best tools you can get. Now there is one other thing that I really really like on this camera, but to show you that, I'll need to put the camera on. So why don't we leave the EOS R and go into the ZV-1. I'm just gonna do this and you'll see the ZV-1 in a bit. And now we are on the ZV-1. You can kind of tell what the audio uh, preamps are like. I'm still recording using the same microphone that I was on the EOS R. So, you know, how does it sound? I don't know. I, can't, I, I, I guess I won't know until I go into the edit. I'm going to say it sounds just about fine. I'm looking at the bars, there's no peaking. It's fine. It's really easy to monitor, especially with the flat screen. Now, the best feature by a country mile that's on the Sony ZV-1 is this thing called Product Showcase. Normally, when you have a camera with face detection or uh, autofocus, it sticks to your face. So, like on the EOS R, that's what I trust with. I have it, uh, I have it on my face all the time, and I'll, it makes sure that my face does not go out of focus. It doesn't lose my face. But with the product showcase, it keeps you on your face most of the time. Like kind of right now, when it's on my face, but. Usually when you hold an item up, you want to show something off, you have to usually put it over your face to like make sure that the face detect autofocus doesn't like do that. That's why most of the uh, most of the YouTubers that do like product stuff, when they hold stuff, they can't sound like the hold it in front of, the, of their face like this. So with this, I can just hold it like that. See? Right now the focus is on the camera, the EOS R, the product showcase. My face is still here. I, got, I just got to hold the camera up to you and look, this thing is what the camera smartly says is in, the, is in focus right now, what I'm trying to show you. I could also be holding something even smaller. For example, this is a Digivice, a keychain, a, a virtual pet from the past, from my past. Just hold it up here, just like that, see? This is in focus. I trust this to be in focus. And now I put it back down, back to me. Very, very clever, very smart. So that's it. The Sony ZV-1 is going to be the new vlogging camera moving forward. And it's also replacing the A7R2 as my new webcam because originally I have this pole, right? Which I clamped down to the table and the A7R2 is on it. And the A7R2 with the 24 to 70 F4 is actually quite heavy. So every time I move the table, really, that thing just shakes violently. So this is gonna be a welcome new like replacement for the A7R2. One other thing is that obviously this being for Twitch, 
if you guys want to check out the Twitch channel, the, the, that is the link right here. It's great, I can monitor this where I, where I put the stuff on, on this flip out screen. That's great. So that's where all you can see you, uh, uh, ZV1 as a webcam. And you know, like this video for YouTube if you if you if you are so inclined to do so. And uh, leave a comment. Maybe this camera is something that you might be looking for. And uh, I'll do my best to answer any questions on the ZV1. And I guess every video moving forward, I'll try to use the ZV1 a bit more because I guess that's what it's meant to do: make videos. I, do, I still like the ESR a bit more. I, I like I like the weight. But thank you so much for joining us in this and I will see you all real soon. I have actually nothing to cover the screen with, so I'm just gonna use my hand. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.